Jaime Montoya has Harvick, one of the best closers in the business on a super speedway, on his back bumper. Montoya has Hamlin pushing. Here we go for the final time. Looks like you're going to have teammates side by side going through turn one and two. Harvick in the 29 pushing McMurray. 42 getting a push by Denny Hamlin in the outside, it's side whichever, by side. It's whichever line back here where you see the 56 coming. If he goes with the 29, that will push them ahead of the 42 Montoya and the 11, but he's got to get there and he's not getting there. And Dale Jr. did not keep pace with Martin Truex. He's fallen back a bit. He will not be among those who will settle this for the win. Boy, they are. That's this is a roadblock now. Even when you get there, where look, are you going to go? Look at the run. Truex is getting in the 56 with the push from Kyle Busch in the 18. White flag this time. Can Montoya and Hamlin do the two by two tango, or will Harvick shove McMurray to victory lane? White flag in the wind. One lap to go. ECR engines at the front of the field working together and looking good. The big question, both those guys, they have to be on fumes as far as fuel, the one and the 29. I don't like that. There's a little bit nervous good getting a big lead out here. You got to be careful. But with these guys two by two behind them, it might work. Staying to the inside, the two leaders have no drafting help. But they are scooting away from the pack. Three corners to go. Now, Harvick, he'll keep pushing him, and he'll get over here to the trial, try to make the slingshot on him. As soon as he knows that he doesn't have to worry about that third place car of Montoya, he probably will try to make the move, although I don't know if it'll do him any good or not. Last chance through the trial. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here, he comes. Here, he comes. here they come. Oh, he got Harvey. him. It's Harvick. He got him. He timed it perfect. He got him. Mr. He timed it picture perfect. Oh, boy. And McMurray opened that bottom just enough. I don't. I think McMurray thought, I've got it made because Harvick's not going to do anything he can't afford to. Holy cow, look at Delana. She can't believe it. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. I mean, that played out to the feet. So pass <laughs> on the last lap. Yeah, baby. You said you wanted to be. You see what happened? He got him wiggling a little bit, Larry. Through the trial. Got him a little bit loose, and that's what won the race for him. When he went across the back of his bumper, got him a little loose, opened the door. I don't know who it was, Daryl, but on Friday, I saw him do that to someone in practice, wiggle him up a little, move underneath, and make the pass. Harvick on Friday was practicing his race-winning move. You see right and there. And it pays off right here. Yeah, you see right there, Mike, he had the one car of McMurray sideways. And how fitting Shell Penzoil was on that car when he won the Daytona 500 three, a little over three years ago. The announcement made this year, this week that they will be leaving that team at the end of 2010. Kevin Harvick, his wife Delana, in disbelief as Harvick snaps a 115 race winless streak that goes back to that Daytona 500 win in 2007. And guess where he starts in just a little while in the next event? On the pole. The man's in the top five in all top three series in points.